जनेवाईसिंग The Pakistani government's intention to use military courts to prosecute civilians is worrisome. A serious violation of the obligations of international human rights law, he said. Volker Turk further said that former Prime Minister Imran Khan claims that Pakistan has been pushed into complete lawlessness. He said that the only way to save and prosperous Pakistan would be smooth with respect for human rights, democratic process, and rule of law. General Charles Q Brown has been named chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the US Army. According to information received from from the Washington, the nomination of the new chief was announced by US President Joe Biden. General Brown, who is currently chief of staff of the US Air Force, will be the second black chief in the US history. For the first time in the US history, Defense Secretary General Lloyd Austin and Chief of Staff General Charles Q Brown will be black. General Colin Powell has previously served as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. The current chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley, will retire in September. In India, another shocking incident of Muslim hostility has come to light. According to foreign media, a Muslim boy was brutally tortured by a mob of Hindu extremists in Narsapur area of the Indian state of Telangana. In a video that has gone viral on social media it can be seen that when the sister of the muslim boy tried to save the brother from hindu extremist the mob also attacked her and slapped the pregnant woman and brutally tortured her as a result of which the woman lost her child according to reports the hindu extremist also raised hindu religious slogans during the violence on muslim brother and sister The owner of the hotel a muslim boy had demanded the delivery of the cylinder from the person who did not give the gas cylinder despite taking money in response to which the hindu extremist guns resorted to cruelty and torture humanity the police did not arrest anyone who indulged in the usual violence the new wave of corona cases in china has now turned into a serious threat According to foreign media Chinese authorities are working rapidly to develop a vaccine to deal with the ongoing new wave of coronavirus according to reports a vaccine is being developed to strengthen immunity to combat the new variant of corona and initially two vaccines have been approved while three to four vaccines will also be approved soon According to a report the intensity of corona is expected to accelerate in June and has been said that 65 million cases can be reported weekly during this period. The World Bank has approved a fund of 213 million dollars for Balochistan. The fund approved by the World Bank will be used to increase employment and provide other essential services in Balochistan. The World Bank's fund will also be used for the rehabilitation of the 2022 flood victims in Balochistan and protection from future threats. The World Bank says that 35,100 people will be given grants for the construction of houses which will benefit the total 2.7 million affected population in Balochistan. That's all for now for more updates keep watching Desi TV USA.